I, you know, and I think we're, it's just kind of human nature, like, we all kind of have that, like, little side of us that is a little self-conscious, and we feel like when we're seeing somebody who is similar to us in a way, but it's just, like, maybe doing something that we're trying to do just, in your opinion, better, like, people look at that as, like, well, if they're winning, then I'm losing. Well, it's, you know, maybe just that, you got to figure out how they got to that point, or, like, maybe, you know. I just ask them. Some people have that apologized. Oh, that people love to talk about this stuff all day, every day. If you ask somebody, yo, how'd you come up? How'd you do this? How'd you, uh, how'd you get that? They'll probably, odds are, unless they're just not trying to talk, like, they'll probably let you know. Like, Indeed. And yeah. I tell people all the time, instead of you talking all that shit, why don't you go ask that of them? Ask right. them to build with them to know how they got on that level. Don't hate or feel like they're acting better than you. At the end of the day, you should, that should motivate you to go harder totally. to, to do what you want to do. I mean, cause that's, that's what I do. When my friends are winning, it's like, yes, bitch, I love it. Like, go fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah, when, when, like, when is it happening? Yeah, like, <laughs> I need to be there. You know what I mean? Because I love that. I'm happy. Right. We're all winning. We're all progressing. We're all growing. So what certain things that keep you motivated that keep you keep going with your music? I mean, it's just um, like big picture type shit. I feel like this, like, just purpose. You know, like this is... Being an artist is, gives me the most fulfillment out of anything that I've done and it took me a while to like do a couple different things in life to like really understand that because I've always loved music but once it got to the point where I wasn't like just a kid anymore and now I'm 23, 24, like figuring, oh, okay, now I'm a professional, now I'm like, all right, well, I really am going to be doing something for the next 60 years of my life probably, like, that you love. like I, you know, to, what was your breaking point when you felt like this is what I want to do. This is what I love. You Tell know, me about that. It's interesting. This, that's, you know, that's hit on something specific. It was, um, I was probably like a year after I graduated and um, it was at my uh, my first advertising agency. And um, I was actually, you know, I, I write, I'm a copywriter. So like I write, I'm like the creative like writer at that advertising agency. And I was like, even like oh. writing raps like for our brand, like little jingles, like type shit to like try to sell the product. And, um, you know, I was sending it to our creative directors on our team. They're like, yo, this is this is crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, and then they like presented it to the client. The client's like, okay, yeah, like this is different. Like, this is really cool. Like, let's like that. And then like, you know, um, it was a certain phrase that stuck out to myself in my head. I was like, I was like, okay, like I'm doing this and I'm trying to figure out a way to weave it. But I was like, do I want to spend the rest of my life trying to promote somebody else's brand or do I want to make my own brand? You know what I mean? I was like, why, why would I want to put on all this work for somebody else's brand if I can just create my own brand that's all tailored to me and I get to make all the decisions and control all the creative too, which is did, awesome and I take a lot of pride in that. So, did you, did you mean that with your own music or starting your own company doing exactly what you do for them? Well, it's both. Yeah, it's both.